Sorry, my alarm just went off. <laughs> um, I'm here to talk today. I have some good news and some bad news. First, though, I want to show you. I've never um, actually shown you like a photo or a video of like what I look like down here. <laughs> um, so I, I'm not really one on taking selfies or anything like that, but I wanted to show you kind of what I look like. So here we go. So this is me in the mirror. Inside. I just had breakfast. So I have a little stomach. And those are all my daughter's drawings that she taped to the uh, door. Um, so I've never really had an issue with being overweight. Um, I have a daughter and even, I did gain weight after having my daughter. So before this I was even thinner. Um, you can really only tell from the side. Um, that, like, I, I've got a little belly, but, um, from the front you can't really tell a whole lot, uh, but you can also tell, like, in my, my face, my face used to be a lot thinner, um, my arms are bigger, my thighs, uh, yeah, my butt, everything is a little bit bigger. I mean, I'm not overweight or anything like that, I'm not saying I'm overweight, but, uh, after having a baby, I did gain a little bit of weight, so. But I'm happy with where I am uh, for the most part, <laughs> although, well, I'll, I, I'll share it in another vlog. There have been some struggles with watching uh, vegans who <clears throat> are, you know, they're high carb, really low fat, and uh, because of that, they you know, they don't have really any fat on them because they're not consuming fat. Um, it's all carbs and so they burn it off really quickly and they, they also do a lot of exercise and so I watched some vegan channels and um, there are these people that are like almost anorexically looking skinny and I've, str I've struggled a little bit with that, with watching them and wanting to look thin and be that size. Um, but I'm not going to worry over it, and I I look fine. I'm at a good weight. I'm not overweight at all. So, um, yeah. Uh, let me sit back down. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I'm having my green smoothie. Well, it's not really a green smoothie. I just added, it just looks really green because of the powder. I added spirulina powder and I believe barley grass, but it's all bananas pretty much. And then I added a little bit of cinnamon, and unfortunately, it's good, but it's really sweet personally for me because I added a tablespoon of sugar, thinking that it might be a little tart because of the um, the bar barley grass and spirulina powder. I also added a kai juice, which is really red. I found this bottle of organic acai juice and, you know, acai berries are really healthy for you. So I bought that and so I half filled it with acai juice and the other half was <clears throat> um, coconut water, I think. So, um, but it became really green just based on the powders. But yeah, I made it a little too sweet, and um, I really underestimate the sweetness of bananas and my taste buds as well because I personally am not a huge sweets person. And I see people drinking like Daterade and sugarcane juice, like pure sugarcane juice, and I'm like, I've tried Daterade several times and it was too sweet for me. Um, I've tr I haven't tried out sugar cane juice, but that's pure sugar, so I don't think I'd ever be able to do that either. But yeah, I only added a tablespoon of unrefined organic coconut sugar, and it just made it really sweet. So I probably didn't need to add anything. It's probably best to um, make it without anything and add and try it, and then add as you go along. You could I could reblend it and add a little bit of sugar. But I didn't do that, <laughs> so next time I make a smoothie, I'm going to be doing that. Um, anyway, so I have some good news and bad news today. 
the good news, I have two pieces of good news. I'm going to go do a Zumba workout later tonight. I'm really excited about that. I have it on my plans. I'm going to do it. And I love Zumba. I haven't done it in a long time, and it's just a lot of fun. The other piece of good news for you guys is that I'm going to be making my almond milk recipe. I'm going to, I need to buy the almonds. That's been the problem is that I need to buy almonds. I wanted to make it yesterday, but I knew yesterday was going to be a busy day. It was a busy day. I worked. I picked up my daughter for gymnastics, and then we went to Awana and church and everything that later that night. So I just didn't have any time to make a video and everything. So I'm going to buy my almonds today. I'm going to work in a little bit <clears throat> uh, with my client. And I'm going to buy my almonds after that and soak them overnight. And then tomorrow I'll make it in the morning and make a video about that. <clears throat> and probably in the next tomorrow night or Saturday morning I'll post it. I'll try and post it as soon as I can. So. Yeah, I'm excited about that. <laughs> um, and I had found a couple other things. Uh, I thought that, you know, everything that I, because I didn't have the carrageenan in my milk, but I read another article about how there's all this other stuff like natural flavors and xanthan gum and chilean gum. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, and like something else. But that I found out that those are also harmful to your body and that study, studies have been done. Even though I did do research on like xanthan gum and really the only problems that I found from like certain sites were that it can cause like maybe diarrhea or something, loose stools but that or gas. But that was really it, and there was no, I didn't see anything that said there were links to cancer or anything, but I found this article that said that these two products, xanthan gum and gel and gum, um, were potentially harmful to the body, so I'm going to look that up a little more and see if I can find any studies, any good published studies. Um, and then the artificial the natural, natural colors or flavors, whatever, um, is actually, there. when they put, say, natural flavors, colors, it's actually a GMO product that's in there. And you don't, when they say natural colors or natural flavors, you don't really know what you're getting. That's really a broad term, and you don't... You don't know. You don't really know what that is. So um, I have always been speculative about that. <clears throat> so I'm grateful to be trying this almond milk recipe myself and see how it works out. So it's a really beautiful day outside. It's mostly sunny, a little bit cloudy, but um, mostly sunny. And so I have on a light. I'm always cold. So even during the summer, because I'll wear tank tops and stuff outside, but um, I always bring a sweater with me because, like, if I go inside a store or someone's house, a lot of times the air conditioning is way up high and I just get cold really easily, so um, it's a little warmer today, so I have, it's, you can't really see, it's a little bit see-through, but uh, it's thinner. So, but I usually, I always have a sweater on me. No matter whether it's winter or summer, I'm always wearing sweaters. So, anyway, I'm getting a little off subject. <laughs> um, now, the the bad news, there's two pieces of bad news. One is that <clears throat> my I got a text from a friend saying the gym that we both go to is closing. And so she said, cancel your gym membership as soon as possible. <laughs> and um, there are other locations in the area, like 15, 20 minutes around, away. There's a couple locations, but uh, because of my busy schedule, I don't have the time to drive to all these different places 
and um, get a workout in. So I'm just going to cancel my membership for now. I'm going to do my Zoom class tonight, and that will be my last class, my last time going there, and then I'm going to cancel my membership. And it's getting warm out, so next week is spring break, and I'll try and spend some time outside. Um, and I might think, because my daughter's schedule is going to be changing, summer's coming up soon, and she may make team for gymnastics, which would be more time in the gymnastics room, which the gymnastics, her gymnastics place is located inside an ATI fitness center. Um, slash uh, therapy. It's therapy and there's a gym in there as well. So in the same building I could be like watching her while I'm on the treadmill because treadmill, there's see-through glass. So <laughs> I might do that but I'm not I'm just gonna have just a no gym membership uh, right now. So it's a little um, sad that I have to cancel. But I haven't really gone to the gym that often, um, so it's kind of been money that has been going out the window and being wasted, so I'm just, it'll be nice to save a little bit of money over the next couple months. Anyway, the second thing that I wanted to talk about is Passover is coming in about a week, and my sister-in-law is Jewish, and her family is all, they're all Jewish, and they've been, ever since she married my brother, uh, we started celebrating Passover with, we had a Passover Seder with their family, and I really liked it, uh, the family time is great, and I like, I like celebrating Passover. <clears throat> I'm not going to go into religion really right now, but um, I'm just, I'm really more focusing on the food issue. Um, so yesterday I was mulling it over a lot and I actually got I got a little sad and then I got like really angry thinking about scenarios that could happen during Passover uh, the last time I really hung out with my sister-in-law and like all the family was during the birthday party so that was right after I became vegan and I told her that I became vegan and I, you know, in my one of my videos I had said that basically her, I thought she was going to be the one that was most open to it and in fact she wasn't and she crossed her arms and rolled her eyes and said well, I'm not going to cater to you and I was like, okay, that's fine, I tried remaining positive, I had brought a smoothie with me just in case, um, but she had grapes and crackers, and so I had that as well, and I was, I, I got full off of all that stuff. So, everything was, turned out fine, I just got a really bad reaction from her. And I'm hoping, I, I'm just afraid of what's going to happen next week. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of, when it, during Passover, there's a lot of matzah, which is uh, unleavened bread. And um, so, you know, I should be okay. But they do have a dinner, and it's like some type of, oh, man, I can't think of what it's called. Um, it's like a barbecue, uh, some type of meat, obviously. <laughs> um, and I loved it when I was not a vegan, but I'm not going to eat it, obviously, because I'm a vegan now, and um, I just, I'm afraid, and they also, during p the Passover, they have, it's this, like, fish, it's like canned fish, and no, I mean, none of my family really has been okay, even when I wasn't a vegetarian, um, I was like, uh, this is the most disgusting thing that I've ever seen. Kind of like canned anchovies, but a little different. Um, and so that's like a tradition um, to have. And I can't think of what the name of it is, but um, we've tried it. Well, some people have tried it. Not all. I haven't. I've never tried it because it just looks disgusting. But, um, 
Yeah, there's that during the Passover. Um, but then afterwards, there's the dinner and meat and kugel. And, um, so I'm just a little scared of what's going to happen. And I... Um, this is the second time that I'm going to be with, like, you know, the whole family, her family, and all of my family, my brother, my sister. <clears throat> and I'm scared of what might happen. I'm, I'm almost starting to become a little defensive. Um, and that's why I had kind of the anger that, that I felt last night, um, thinking of what might happen if, you know, I'm ostracized again. Uh, <clears throat> it would be the third time because the first time I went vegetarian during Christmas, then I went vegan, and so each of those times I was kind of ostracized a little bit. Um, and so this will be the third time, and now I'm vegan, which is even more extreme. And so I'm a little bit afraid of what the reaction might be, and... I don't judge them for eating meat. I don't judge any of my friends or my family um, because it's a very touchy subject. And yeah, it's just, it's a really touchy subject. And so they're, since they're not at all even open to it, I don't really, I don't bring it up. But except for the fact that, you know, I'm, I'm not going to eat meat and so, or dairy. But I'm just afraid that I'm going to become really defensive and start arguing and I really don't want that to happen. I want to, I don't want to become that angry vegan uh, that everyone talks about that um, they're on the radical side. <clears throat> I really just want to keep the peace and, but that it's hard when you have someone else Oh, it just got really cl cloudy. Um, it's hard when the other side is ostracizing you, but you don't want to, uh, you want to keep the peace, but you're being kind of made fun of a little bit. And, um, yeah, so we'll see how it goes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and remain calm, and hopefully everything goes over smoothly, and... Um, I know it's going to take a long time for my family to accept me the way I eat. I mean, it's just the way I eat. Who cares, really? Um, you know, I'm not, like, I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm not, this is for my health and for the animals. The, I would think that people would be, um, <clears throat> more open-minded about it and, you know, but I think it's the extremists, the vegan extremists, that people really think about. And they're like, oh, you're so extreme. And I think that's when what they think about when, when I have told them, you know, I'm vegan or a vegetarian. So <clears throat> that's probably what they think of when, when I say that I'm vegan. But I'm not, I'm not judging them. I'm not an extremist. And I'm not gonna yell at them for eating meat. I just want um, I just want them to know why I'm doing it, and I just want to keep the peace again. So uh, I'm not gonna keep rambling on because I'm rambling now. But yeah, so I'll t let you guys know how that goes. I'm gonna post my almond milk recipe within the next two days or so, and. Um, I'll let you know how Passover goes, and I'll, I'm sure I'll be making a video before Passover, though. So, uh, I hope you guys have a great day. It's getting warm up here in the Northern Hemisphere, and so it's really exciting. And spring is here, and summer is coming. So that means lots of fruit and more, you know, abundance and variety. So I'm very excited. I'll see you guys next time.